Mechanically, an engine is a simple air pump. Conceptually, it's a device for turning heat energy into linear and then rotating motion. What you get out of it is based on what you pour into it. There are four basic fuel groups that we deal with. Gasoline, alcohol, gasoline with nitrous oxide, and nitromethane. Surprisingly, it's not the heat of the fuel that makes a difference, but how far down the active flame foot is actually pushing on the piston. It's all about duration of burn. Of course, the most common fuel used is gasoline. It's the most volatile of the bunch. But unfortunately, it's also very finicky. It requires an exact ratio between fuel and oxygen to maintain proper combustion. Gasoline is killer on a light off, but because you can only put so much of it in the chamber, the piston is only driven a short distance by the actual combustion. The rest of the way, it's expanding gases. The next step up is alcohol. Alcohol works because it doesn't require as much oxygen to burn as gasoline does. You can put 2.2 times the amount of alcohol in a combustion chamber as you can gasoline. You can run higher compression or boost with alcohol because it's not as volatile. But because you've got so much more volume in the chamber, it'll burn for that much more, that many more degrees of crankshaft rotation under an active flame front. Then you get to party time. Gasoline and nitrous oxide. You idiot, we're trying to make a video. Hey! This works because in a combustion chamber, nitrous oxide breaks into its two basic elements, nitrogen and oxygen. The nitrogen cools the combustion process, and the oxygen allows you to add more gasoline, thus extending the duration of burn. And then there's my favorite, nitromethane. Surprisingly, nitro is the least volatile of all of the fuels. It has a lot of odd qualities. It has approximately the same specific gravity as water. It acts a lot like water. It doesn't atomize, so it's a bitch to light. But because it releases its own oxygen supply as it burns, there is no limit to the amount of fuel you can put in the chamber, other than the actual physical capacity of the chamber itself. The duration of burn is so long. The reason that... Oh, fuck me. I had that. I'll never be able to do that again. Yes, you will. I don't remember what it was. I have to play that back. You got... The reason nitro motors are so loud is because the exhaust valve is interrupting the actual combustion process. In fact, the piston is still being driven down under force while the valve is open. If you don't open the valve quickly enough, a nitro motor can actually detonate at the bottom of the hole the way most engines will detonate at the top. Of course, there are countless combinations and variables that go with each of these fuels, but the principles remain the same. What you pour in is equal to what you get out. 